All right, guys, today we're going to be reacting to Americans very first time visiting Germany's miniature Wanderer part three. We're going to make sure that we just keep reacting to James Bry Bryson. And also, I'm going to mention, I'm going to put the link of the original video down below in the description. That way you guys can just show some support as well to the original content creator. Very important. Meantime, guys, let's jump in. Let's just have some fun. Link in the description down below actually has constant updates on what they what they change regularly on a daily basis in the miniature of Wonderland. So if you guys didn't know that, now you do. The mountains. Oh my God, the mountain range. Like right here. So you know they do drone shots for this in real life. I feel like I'm the drone, right? I can just look at all of this and it's beautiful. You have trains that are constantly active, but the railway that goes through the mountains and actually above my head. I mean, look, this is so cool. That's nuts, absolutely nuts. I've only seen videos of this, but I'm, I'm actually here. This is, this is insane. Yo, so there's a gas station with real prices, like the current prices of gas right now, dude, right there. The real prices for they, the car. I'm telling you, operating the miniature Wunderland is a full-time job, and there's so many elements to yeah. it. You can only imagine. I mean... Yeah, man, it, I mean, you have to be on top of that, just fixing everything every day. I can, you can tell because it's, it's, a, it's very small, but... It's, at the same time that it's small, it just required a lot of attention. Ask yourself right now as you're watching this video, what jobs do you think consist of w working at the miniature Wunderland? And if your answer has anything to do with keeping up to date on the latest structures, the latest trends, the latest fashion, the latest automobiles, airplanes and everything, you're probably right. But there's also things behind the scenes that require people to physically control some of the cars, the boats, the pathways of different things. Look at this, for instance, this cute little like truck, man. All these, tr all the, the traffic at night. There's people that operate that. That's insane to me. When they operate it, they're, they're monitoring a lot of these trains and cars and stuff to make sure that they don't crash, collide, or like run out of battery or something. Like something doesn't go wrong. And once again, one of the, the things I get a kick out of the most is looking at the inside of all these buildings and really looking at what people are doing. I'm so nosy. I'm so nosy. I want to know what people are doing. So like, for instance, what's inside this little building over here, man? All these people are having a blast. And I feel like I'm left out. They didn't invite me to the party. <laughs> What's going on in there, That's man? That's kind of cool. Look at that. Well, I see a lot of people are eating Is some food. Jello? Big jello, right? Mm. Some people up top cooking. And, uh, you know, I think there's like a, I don't know how they were able to fit a car on the third floor of this building, but that's impressive. I don't know how they did that. Maybe they carried it up the stairs. Who knows? <laughs> So cool, bro. So cool. Oh, the gas station at night is such a vibe. Such a vibe. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so cool. And it's cool. It's, it's, it's like real life. You have some people with their lights on inside their apartments. Some people don't have their lights on. It's so cool, bro. What the freak? <laughs> It's so elaborate. And there's a whole team behind this. What? Holy shit. So I think, I'm not sure if that's like the building on fire or something. Is it on fire? Oh, damn. The Schloss is on fire, dude. That's crazy. And I'm not sure if they're going to send like, it'd be cool if they sent fire trucks over there. They might actually, which is going to be even better. But that's so cool. The Schloss is on fire. Oh, there is. Oh my God. Look at that. The fire trucks on the way low. Looking at it, looking at it, just so overwhelmed. It's a lot of work, wow. Look, the Schloss is on fire. Look, the Schloss is on fire. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, look, another one. <laughs> I told you they have storylines, that's insane. That's insane. Well, how, why are they stopping there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Oh, dude, this is so crazy. Oh, dude, the f that's the fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, here they go. They're, they're coming to put out the fire, dude. Look at that. That's insane. <laughs> that's so cute. What? 
It'd be cool if like some little people got out. I mean, if all, if all fires smelled this good, dude, I mean, I wouldn't mind California having a few more, you know what I mean? I <laughs> There's like storm clouds over there by the mountain. It's super sick. Prison break. There's a prison yeah, break. A prison. Oh, there's a prison break? <laughs> Bro, they have a prison. I like about this miniature, uh, it's just the water. Because the way they came up with the water is so genius. It's not real water, but they want the impression of water. You will think like, oh, we just need real water. No, no, you need to imp the impression or the imitation of real water to make it look real. Isn't that interesting? Prison break over here, man. We're about to check this out. So yeah, go ahead. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Dude, so there's the cops. The cops are over there like freaking out. There's the searchlights for the people breaking out of prison. Now, where are the people breaking out of prison? On the side? Oh, I see them. They're in the mountains. You see them in the striped, like, so there's a few people wearing striped clothing in the mountains that are climbing up, escaping the prison, bro. And you can see outside the window. It's like, uh, what's that movie called? Shawshank Redemption. You haven't seen the Shawshank Redemption? Oh, wow. Shawshank Redemption, where they, like, threw the blanket out of the window you and stuff. you haven't watched that movie, that's one of the movies before you die that you must watch. Classic, classic movie. Here, and then they climbed out and then escaped and whatnot. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's funny because they're escaping up here, and I guess they have a hookup to get like oh. paired. Oh, oh my God. Why is there a zebra? There's a zebra. I don't know why there's a zebra. <laughs> That's like, so random. Maybe the zebra is how they got out. Oh, shit. It's kind of weird. Dude. The hot. There's storm clouds. Dude, what? Oh my. You can feel the thunder. Oh my god. Yeah, you can feel this, the thunder in here, man. They have storm clouds. Watch this. Watch this. This is wild. This is wild. Beautiful, beautiful. Dude, the storm clouds. Look at that. Dude, what? You can hear the rain too in the train. Oh! Oh my god. You hear the kids screaming. <laughs> so, after everything we've just seen, we're headed to the airport in the Minotaur of Wunderland. This is crazy! Oh my god, dude, the parking lot here is so accurate. Look at this. Oh my god, it's insane. They even have like the, the flight line. The flight line is super accurate. Although the jets that are like, oh, they have a arrival right, and departure screen right above us. That, that place that place looks big that means that place is very big if they have all those things going on the airports and everything that means it's very big with like everything they have like get to see like them in motion the millennium falcon dude so one of you guys is telling me that the millennium falcon is here on the flight line the millennium falcon is right there and they're doing maintenance on it that's insane it's a lot smaller than i thought i thought the millennium falcon would be way bigger than what it actually turns out to be it's it's not that big it's a little bit smaller than a 757, a 747. Yeah. Look at this. Dude, look, 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 look. You can see the taxiway. They're heading over to the aircraft. They're, they're, oh my God, this is insane. This is so cool. This rocket ship. Oh, there's more. There's more, there's more, there's more, there's more. There's more. Oh my god, dude, this is so sick. We get to see a few of the planes take off and land over here in the airport section. Like I said, every single section in the Miniature Wonderland has its own schedule, has its own day-to-day -day story plot. You can, you can literally hang by each section all day. Every floor is filled with absolute amazingness. If you look over here, we'll zoom in and you'll see there's a cow on the parking garage. How did they fit this cow here? And then you have a person with a whip. This guy has a whip. <laughs> I want to try. And there's a whole car full of people. This is like a massive family trip and they piled out of this tiny vehicle. How did all of these people fit into that tiny little smart car? And then of course, right here you have the nuns. These nuns must have money. These must be the nuns from that movie, The Town, because there's no way they got this Lambo praising Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Again, something's landing. Something's landing. Oh, bro, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
beautiful, beautiful, perfect landing, perfect landing, perfect landing. Oh, the plane's on fire. Oh my God. Over there, the plane's on fire. You see that? Yeah. The plane's on fire. That plane's going through something right now, man. That's so crazy. And look how tiny it is. So much drama for the miniature Wunderland in every single part. There's always something wild going on. So freaking cool, bro. What's interesting is if you look at the wall behind me, they painted the walls so well to reflect the weather and stuff. Yeah, the airplane going down like that got me goosebumps. That's crazy. And just the sky, the greenery, it really complements what they built. Oh, we have another plane taking off. Look at this. There we go. There we go. Oh. Bam. Into the cloud flaps. This is the wildest, isn't it, I've ever seen in my life. That's like, insane. I've seen exhibits before, but nothing like this. This is the best exhibit I've ever been to, and you guys have That's to dedicated. check this out. Take an entire day, come here, and just literally it, take all of this in, appreciate it. It's so yeah, good, it is so good. There's a ton of tourists. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I think that's my favorite part. The storm and the airplane so far are one of my favorites. Wow, it gave me goosebumps. That, that last one gave me goosebumps, man. That's crazy. How I, I, I didn't think about that. How could they make the airplanes fly? I mean, they're not flying. They're just being held with a little stick underneath. But but even the angles looks very nice, very smooth, right? Wow. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I would love to hear you guys' opinion about this one. I'll see you in the next one.